Mostly today's episode will be me flinging a few things. But before I fling, I thought I would discuss some ideas that I have for the trebuchet. On the latch for the arm, I have this pin in it that I've been using, which works pretty good. Um, I don't like setting it though, because holding down that arm and trying to stick that pin in there, I feel like that's really good potential for me to slip and have that arm come up and hit me in the chin. So I'm not really that happy with it. Um, and it was suggested to me to put a spring-loaded pin in it so when the arm comes down, it pushes the pin back and then springs back in, which is great. I like the idea a lot. But the problem I have with it is if I fling anything that's wide, such as a computer tower, then it can't slide through there and have clearance, you know, because there's going to be little tabs coming up for that pin to go through. And I don't want to add any more weight to the arm. I need to keep that as light as possible. So, is what I've been envisioning is something that pivots over here in this corner and comes up and over and somehow latches onto the arm. So when I pull it, this entire thing would fall backwards and out of the way. So I hope you understand kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts. Um, actually, now that I look at the trebuchet, going down to that corner may not work. It might actually need to be up here where this rope is tied on and so it can swing back this way might work better. I don't know, something along those lines. Um, and also, I need to work on the winch. I really cannot pull this arm down. Um, I don't know if you saw it in the last video or not, but um, I literally just hang on the end of the arm and it's actually kind of a tipping point for me. Um, oh, the wind's coming up. Darn it. I've been looking at some of the drawings and how they did it. And I got a few ideas on that. Another reason I'm not actually working on it today is because I don't know exactly what to do for the winch either. Um, definitely have ideas. Wow, that wind is coming up in a hurry. Blowing the camera everywhere now. Um, another thing that needs to be done is I need some way to keep this trough in line. Uh, it has a tendency to walk from side to side and back and forth. That shouldn't be too hard, just kind of make a little better mounts and stuff for it, but got to do that to it yet. Ah. And I also want to build a hitch to go on it so I can put it behind my little Cub Cadet or even behind my pickup and move it around a lot easier. Kind of getting tired of pushing this thing. So, yeah, there's still more to come on this before we even start thinking about the bigger one. So there'll be a few more episodes and lots of flings. I'm, I've been having fun this weekend flinging. It's been a wonderful 100 degrees, but who cares, you know. Trebuchet is worth it, right? All right, um, I think it's probably enough babbling. So why don't you sit back and relax and enjoy some footage of some good flings. Some of you might remember the scene of this crime. <laughs> um, this car is still sitting out here. It's not quite full of metal yet. But I'm going to fling some stuff into it. But first, I made a promise to a viewer that in the very next episode I did, I would fling a car. So I'm gonna get set up and get the car brought in here and we're gonna fling a car right now. I had to punch a big hole through the hood. Found a big old cable. And we got it rigged up and uh, let's see if we can get in the trebuchet. So I may have promised him that uh, I was gonna fling a car in the next episode. I didn't say how big. Yeah, this is just some good fun, but remember that I actually am going to fling a automobile someday, a real one. Probably without the engine in it, and it'll probably be a compact car, but well, it'll be compact when I'm done with it. <laughs>
Man, the stinking hood is in the way of one of my angles I want for the camera. First candidate today is the old microwave. I'm gonna try flinging it first by this the cord. I have a feeling that'll break and go the wrong direction. So, um, I'm gonna hold my iPhone and film it. I got the two-layer camera set up on tripods. So let's see if this goes anywhere. Trebuchet's ah. <sighs> rolling down the hill too. Bye. That'll work. Microwave on a rope. Oh yeah, and I lost the door dragging it over here. <laughs> so less of a microwave on a rope. And my next victim is a computer monitor. Try it by the cord as well first. I actually had some reservations about flinging that. I really didn't want all that glass everywhere, but it's all intact. <sighs> now if only I had my camera set up at the right angle. Well, off to the recycler with this thing too. I have three milk jugs. This one is my second one already. The first one went way over the car. So did a little bit of a reset, changed some things, and let's see if I get close to the car now. That made a heck of a dent in the door. Wow. It was already sticking out a little bit, but it wasn't sticking out that far. That would hurt to get hit by that. Last milk jug I brought with me. I moved the trebuchet. So hopefully it'll hit the right of the car a little bit. That went a little further. Well, that does it for me, YouTube. No work on the trebuchet this week, but ah, had a little bit of fun flinging. Uh, so maybe next week I will try to do either a winch or something. I don't know. We'll do some working on the trebuchet next week. But hopefully, these clouds are actually going to drop some rain on us. <sighs>